you're thinking they are. Yeah, they certainly are, have become a lot more competitive as we take a look at the starting lineups. Another thing that Washington did not need to deal with, she came crashing down on her right hip in their last game and is not out to set the screen. And now Candace, two, two players that it's hard to speed up when they have the basketball in their hands because they are just methodical with the ball. That's changed. Four starters not there, including, as uh, the China mentioned, Elena Deladon, who was the MVP of the season, and really wanted to sign Mitchell back. Nieseman drives on the rookie Cox and says Washington to two finals when they won it last year. Alamal pulls out her Belgian team. Let's not play these games. No, uh, Alamal has hit over 50% of her threes this year. That's a class, class person and coach. Nieseman goes by Cox for the second time, and this time Emma Nieseman, so good at creating space. Just that quick spin, uses the fake. Cox picking up that foul. She was the Big 12 Player of the Year last year at Baylor. Dupree against Emma this time. Another over to the other Mitchell, Kelsey, and then Tiffany gets it right back to her. And Kelsey Mitchell's not shy. They're going to go to Emma Mieseman, the veteran, and they're in, setting a little screen on Cox change, and they're going to put Kansas Dupree on Mieseman and see how that matchup works out. There's another takeaway. Tiffany Mitchell gets it over to Dupree. Dupree. In time. Mitchell, a little hesitation on Alamon. Hines Allen with her. Tiffany Mitchell. Get treatment and return as soon as possible. That was a really hard fall. And when we were talking to Mike on this team just behind Hines Allen at over 16 points per game. They're missing that. Tierra McCowan, number 15 in gold, is in the game. And Meesman just at least it seems to have, uh, is responding well. Since she entered the WNBA, boy, she can fill it up. Flat out score. Nice ball movement. Very right here, Fever, pick and roll. Kennedy Burke gets it inside, but it's the extra pass to out there. And it's the right knee toward the ACL and didn't, didn't re-tear it, but tweaked it a little bit, which has got to be scary. McCowan quickly draws attention. And a lot of that work with Lauren Cox guarding her, but Indiana did make some defensive changes to battle a lot of centers. Tina was going to help out this year, but then because of the pandemic, so much has changed. And her production has slowed the last couple of games, and when you look at the Mystic veteran leadership, Burke left open, and she's gone nine deep. Already for Emma, that was a perfect pass as she was been a handful in stretches around the basket and before McCowan can even find that stroke from beyond the arc since her return. Almost the very next game, they would probably not qualify for the Olympics. She said to her credit, she bounced. Sam, I don't know that you want to get into this. We're just going to leave. We're just going to drop that conversation right now. The rookie, Alamon. First, it's about Kelsey Mitchell, touching the nail, hitting the middle of the floor, drawing the defense, and then... Alamon brings it up. She has Tiffany Mitchell to her left, finds her, and then Tiffany got it right back. Kelsey Mitchell, three. Natalia Chandwa for Cox. Also dealt with medical protocol a little later into the season. And their offense has been dismal in the first half. Dupree, brilliant career she has had now in her 15th season. Nieseman, she's been the one bright spot, the one consistent bright spot. This Down season. 16 to 10 defensive rebounds right now. Overall, 22 to 14 on the glass. That is one area they've got to improve to get back in this game. Washington will see how they respond after what was probably another, I would think, fiery speech in the locker room. And count it. Hines Allen off to a great start here. And Cox just turns her head and does not even see Hines Allen cutting through the lane right here. 
little exchange on the back. Match of an opening day win that Washington won by 25 points. Kelsey Mitchell, she's staying. Good denial by Tiffany Mitchell, not allowing Atkins to catch the ball. Hines Allen coming along said to us about her today was that she's discovered that she's not just a scorer, that she is more of a complete player than probably people give her credit. There is a lot at stake. You leave the bubble and, you know, it's just really tough and heartbreaking. Our thoughts and prayers go out to get back into it. So during a grief-stricken time, that's a huge decision for these young women to have to make. Sierra McCallum. I mean, they have things that they're trying to clean up. You know, they have not met their best recently defensively in some stretches as an Alphonse organization. It's uh, the monumental sports and uh, they share a practice facility and they're very close and they're honoring Wes Unsell, who was a terrific basketball player and a Louisville grad. And that's where they found success. Now, granted, this group is still learning all of that and where they can be effective in that. And that's what they're experiencing in the inconsistency right now. Uh, Dupree, gonna, you'll be in here tomorrow. But it's a lot of fun. It is. It's it, for a little. This is what we want. I mean, we want all this WNBA basketball at air. Oh, so. <laughs> you at least one to many Mitchells <laughs> for my brain. Sorry. Sorry, Tiffany. That was your beautiful assist. Snap an 11-game losing streak to Washington in regular season games. And they've been looking good. Oh, that's what a move. Burke's got a lot of potential. I remember feeling like that when she was at UCLA. She didn't really potential. She said she was a good three-point shooter when she played at Chicago. Would like to see her extend her range a little bit. Got Burke for the foul. Heck of slow to get up. Actually, she plowed Boy, into Hines Allen. It was Atkins who got her foot tangled up with her teammate. Yeah. Right call by the officials. Hines Allen was there. Oh, yeah. The right rolled ankle. I mean, contact. I think that was all Atkins. Hines Allen that banks it on the other. turnover. Can they cut it to five points or fewer? Leslie. McCowan. Boy, she's posted the way she just, I mean, couldn't move her. To the load. Shot. Shot clock dying. Look at that! Into the game and nailed it with the shot clock expiring. Lead is eight. Leilani, uh, Leilani Mitchell has one roll. Mitchell working against Petty. Tiffany Mitchell got a little extra. Improvement. Spot. There have been improvements from their last game. Hawkins. That's one of them. Hawkins is starting to hit. Yeah, that helps. No matter the defensive attention in so many different places. That's why Washington is such a beautiful offense to watch. And now I'm still the only team to beat Seattle. Says something. Emma, so many moves. Finally. Finally. Down the stretch in the fourth quarter when Washington got close. Hit a couple of big buckets. Kelsey goes down and... Waiting for Erica Wheeler to come back. From medical protocol as Hawkins finishes. Washington certainly missing Ariel Powers tonight. May arise, and, and so for Stephanie to be able to get that surgery and not have to at a place where they can lose any piece for major stretches. They talked about in the scouting report, play hard, do all those things. Watching. You want to be playing your best basketball down the stretch because there's no home court advantage. So if you can sneak in. Nated home teams, but it's. I stole that. <laughs> All right, Emma did not foul. And that will do it. Indiana's 11 game losing streak to Washington in regular season games is over. Kelsey Mitchell.